All right, I got all my soil moved in. Got my buddy with me. <laughs> all right, we're gonna go into my little trailer of wonders here. Get some of my seed trays and some of my pots out of here. I'll be potting up some of my hybrid willow whips, so the five to six inch pots work really nice for that. So I'm gonna grab some of these. These are what I'm looking for. And then these trays here. I love these for my seed starting. So I'm gonna fill up my soil bin here. It's just so much easier than having to kind of grab out of the bag. Hey Luna, you gonna help today? And I'm only gonna put a little bit in at a time because I don't know how much I'm going to end up using. And I don't like it to sit in here overnight or any longer than the time I'm using it for because otherwise it dries out and then I gotta play around with it and get it like, you know, the moisture back in it and stuff. So, hey, no, no, no. Uh-oh, I forgot. Luna loves soil. So we're gonna scooch this right here. <laughs> so we're gonna use these five to six inch pots. I have to go grab the hybrid willows. Hi! So I've been growing the hybrid willows in the house and I find that early spring is the best time to cut and start them. Even though they'll start any time of the year, they're just extremely aggressive and rapid rooting. So it's it's fine anytime, but I, I've learned uh, over the years that we've been growing the hybrid willows that they really do best this time of year and they just root a lot faster. They leafed out all on their own because it's nice and warm inside, but these have been in this vase for about a month, I'd say, maybe even less. And as you can tell, they are extremely rooted. So this is the perfect time to, to go ahead and just get them bumped up into a pot. If it was nicer out in our weather right now. I mean, it's nice out today, don't get me wrong, but we're still in winter here in Wisconsin zone five. So I don't want to just go ahead and plant them outside. But if you are in a warmer location and you start them, you can go ahead and just plant them outside as is. But I want to get their roots established really ni nice within soil inside the pots. And then we'll go ahead and plant them outside once we are, you know, at that point where the trees are ready to be plopped right into the ground. And then I've also got some over here. So these ones over here are not the hybrid willows. These are the corkscrew willows, which I actually prefer for ultimate coverage because even in winter when they lose their leaves, they really hold the privacy still because they get so nice and thick and full. And these ones have been in there the same time as the hybrid willows, but as you can see, they are also ready. So they've got nice, nice roots inside of that vase. So I recently had some questions about the hybrid willows and you know, hybrid willows are willows. So you always have to be smart about where you place them and just use, you know, the basic common sense, like don't plant them by a tile, don't plant them by your septic, you know, all of that kind of stuff. Cause their, their roots are aggressive. They're just like any other willow, even the corkscrew willows. They're all very aggressive. As you can tell, if they're able to root this quickly, this much in less than a month in a jar of water, that's pretty impressive. So always try to just use them where you're safe to use them. And we use them for a lot of privacy walls and fences. And that way we can get a privacy wall right away, going right away, a natural one. And then we go ahead and we place trees in front of those that are slower growing growers, but yet will eventually give us even more coverage and privacy and that are just even prettier. The corkscrew and hybrid willows are beautiful trees, but I prefer looking at a pine over them or a really colorful maple in fall over them. But either way, they serve their purpose. So the best way to get privacy with them is to do a double row stagger because one row will give you the privacy, but in winter when the leaves come off, they do not give you as much privacy. You can see right through them. So if you do two rows and then stagger them, I, I feel like that gives us more privacy. And with the corkscrews, those get really like, because they like kind of wind, these branches get like really windy. That's why they're called corkscrew willows. See, as you can see, they get like really windy and kind of like a, a corkscrew like texture kind of winding around them. 
even the branches themselves they it's not like they're like straight branches they have like all these curves in them so these get super full and thick and we have a few of these around the property and i actually really like them even more at some times because of the winter privacy it gives us so when it loses its leaves it's still able to provide that privacy what i did with these too is i put three like three to four branches together and grew them that way so it was almost like four trees growing together i think in the front we have three trees together and they're really thick and full and really nice um, and I really like that a lot better than just like one tree for the privacy and then with the hybrid willows we have some where there's just one for the privacy and then we have others where we doubled them up or tripled them up and those have done really good you just love attention don't you yes you do it's hard to like just go and keep working when you got this cute little face staring at you look at these eyes look at those cute little eyes how can we say no to luna huh so with these corkscrews i'm going to put a few together i'm going to cut just the bottoms off a little bit just so that way they all kind of fit in that pot nice because it's not a really deep pot the bigger the pot you give it the more it'll root in there and the more it will grow before planting it outside but like i said before you don't have to pre-pot it you could really just keep them in here until it is time but then their roots kind of get um, weaker the longer they stay in the water so once you start seeing them root that's really the best time to go ahead and plant them in pots or outside luna all right there we go i got them all planted and soaked all the way through so they're dripping all the way through and then what i did is i went ahead and just pushed down around the base just to really secure them good right there so that way they're not you know falling over because they are a little bit more top heavy but when the, when it's wet it's really easy to just kind of push down and secure it around the base this is one of our first lines of privacy done with the hybrid willows here and as you can see they do not have leaves yet so you can kind of see through them but in the summertime you can't see anything and what's kind of cool is we actually have a whole nother row growing behind these lower because as they grow you lose some of the foliage along the bottom there and we've been kind of cutting it because we do have those arborvitaes growing on the inside here because overall these are going to become our all privacy right here and then we'll end up probably cutting the hybrids down but then there will still be hybrids growing right behind it at a lower level so this is what i mean this is on the other side of the berm so these are the lower growing trees right now so those will end up getting height that will fill in that little gap so once these trees up here end up getting cut down we'll have ultimate privacy by then and then we'll just take a lot of cuttings off of these branches these here are the corkscrew willows and as you can see they have a lot more privacy to them because they grow closer together they kind of corkscrew together and give a lot of fullness but with these arborvitaes what we've been doing is really trimming back the hybrid so they don't overtake the arborvitaes and take away from their sunshine in order for them to grow it's a little too modest my hair comes down every now and then a wild car with a reckless heart i've seen love come around then i raised babies that were not mine and i might raise my own on my own time and handed fate was too late made my luck on my own dime been called too crazy been called too blind but I built this ground I'm walking on. Been running, running, running. Since I was a child. You're crazy. 